plays uh, in the fourth quarter. Uh, contested shots and uh, taking things to the basket. And he just got out there ahead of the field and uh, we have this direct line principle, no one steps up, you keep going. And he saw the opening and went and made a, a very bold play, it was one on four. So it was, you know, it was imperative that it goes in for us to win. Over on the right side, Phil, when you removed Andrew, and over here, when you removed Andrew later in the fourth quarter, was that a lineup decision or was that because of his injury? No, that was a lineup decision at that time. He had gotten, uh, you know, tweaked his knee a little bit in that third quarter and come out and I you know, wanted to shorten his time. But, you know, that, that particular moment I thought it would be best to have Lamar and Lamar played well tonight. This side in the back. Uh, Phil, can you talk about the first time out and how that really seemed to slow the Celtics' momentum? Well, we were playing so poorly. I mean, it was just a you know, necessity to call a timeout, to slow things down and get us back in defense and stop the offensive rebounding and Garnett running out and uh, getting layups and uh, our misses. And, uh, you know, we seemed to gather some strength and change the course of the game right there and that made a really good effort in the end of the, that last six minutes of the first quarter. On the right side, Mike. Uh, Phil, uh, pretty good defensive effort out there. Ray Allen over 13. How, how surprising is that, and how, how happy are you with your defense? Well, defensively, it was a you know, good game, and this is a team. Boston Celtics have so many guys that can contribute. Uh, you know, Perkins. I mean, Garnett tonight stepped it up and got you know his game going. Obviously, you know, Pierce is in foul trouble. He only played 33 minutes, 34 minutes, and uh, you know the, the job that Fish did on Allen was terrific tonight. Dave on the right. Phil, uh, when you guys made that turnaround in the in the first quarter, Luke Walton came in, gave you some defensive energy, and also hit a jumper at the end of the shot clock. You just talk about decision and what he gave you guys tonight. Well, you know, he, he's just uh, a knowledgeable player inside of our offense, and there are times when you know we have to get the ball moving and get some things done out there where. Um, you know, the Celtics put a lot of pressure on the ball and put guys in to drive a lot of times, so we need to have some guys out there that can play make also on the floor and have recognition of what the, the offense represents, and Luke's an old hand at that. Back left. Phil, you, uh, there was that timeout when Kevin and uh, Kobe, I believe it was, both knocked the ball out of bounds, it was a close call. Uh, there's a timeout right afterward. Did you go and request a review of that, and do you think they would have reviewed it if you had not requested it? I don't know. Um, you know, that's a hard thing to say. I think, you know, Crawford made a good decision. Danny, you know, recognized the fact that he hadn't had good vision that was contested. There are a number of guys off the bench that called it also, and, and uh, it was a key play for us in the game. But that wasn't by your request? He was going to do it on his own? You know, I, I can't say that my requesting it, it gave him the impetus to do that, but it was the thing that, you know, was the right action to do, and it's under two minutes, and that's what they could do. Chris on this side. Um, Phil, can you just talk about the aspect? Uh, Derek Fisher talks about people often have written him off and what have you, but he always seems to step up in these big games. Did it for you in the finals last year against Orlando, and this time around, he just always seems to step up when people are writing him off or whatever. Yes, he, you know, he, um, he's a really a terrific leader. We know that as a, as a basketball player in our, our locker room. But his leadership on the court is, is just a solid presence out there, you know, trying to get the things operating in our offense. And a lot of times, you know, he's got to direct things from a, an off-ball position. Uh, tonight, you know, they found a little wrinkle out there, he and Kobe, that they could run and get some activity going to really give us some scoring in the fourth quarter. And, you know, when he's got an opportunity to hit a key shot, it seems like he's always there and ready.